In the Grafenrain Sampert at the site of Mauer, close to Heidelberg, Germany, a powerfully formed jawbone without a chin of a hitherto unidentified type of human was found in 1907 CE. The first two left molars and premolars of this mandible were missing, but other from that, the jaw was almost intact. Otto Schoentensack, a German olfactory scientist, named the species Homo heidelbergensis, or Heidelberg man, after the city where the initial specimen was found. This was revolutionary since researchers had previously referred to early human fossils that exhibited characteristics shared by Homo erectus and modern humans as archaic Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, or Homo neanderthalensis. Homo heidelbergensis had a larger brain case than Homo erectus to accommodate their larger brains, 1,200 cubic cm and up, flat cheekbones compared to Homo neanderthalensis, noses that were more upright like ours, relatively wide nasal openings, and a face that was relatively large compared to that of Homo sapiens. Not only did the brain grow in size, but the frontal and parietal lobes growth also raises the possibility of a rise in brain complexity. The short forehead was sloping rather than vertical, and there is a tiny postorbital constriction behind the eye sockets. A face with only a minor projection results from the shorter jaw compared to older species, and their lower jaw was prominently protruding. A specimen on display at the David H. Koch Hall of Human Origins at the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. Although these hominins might grow as tall as 5 feet 11, 180 centimeters, men typically stand 5 feet 9 inches, 175 centimeters, tall and weigh 136 pounds, 62 kilograms, while females typically stand 5 feet 2 inches, 157 centimeters, tall and weigh 112 pounds, 51 kilograms. However, it's interesting to note that their lower legs were quite lengthy, which is an adaptation to maximize heat output in warm situations. Their build was wide and sturdy to preserve energy in their chilly habitat. Typically, the leg bones are large and well-built. Homo heidelbergensis was the first member of the Homo genus to inhabit cold areas, arriving in frigid Europe 500,000 years ago. Like most members of the Homo, it also inhabits the land of its origin, Africa, specifically southern and eastern Africa. Remains from China and India's Namada Valley have been speculated to belong to the H. Heidelbergensis species. Lake Tacana, Bodo, Indu, Cabway, Alans Fontaine, Peter Alona, Mauer, Steinheim, Arago, Boxgrove, Swanscombe, and Namada are significant sites where remains of H. Heidelbergensis has been found. Diet. Homo heidelbergensis was known to hunt rhinos, hippopotamuses, bears, horses, deer, and other huge wildlife, according to fossil records. Technology. Fire. There is evidence that this species was capable of managing fire by creating hearths or early fireplaces around 790,000 years ago because burned wooden implements were discovered at the Israeli archaeological site of Gesha Bennett Wyakov. These hearths were probably utilized by Homo heidelbergensis for social interaction, warmth and comfort, the exchange of food and knowledge, and protection from predators. Shelters The first hominin to construct simple, basic shelters was Homo heidelbergensis. Additionally, they used caves and other natural shelters wherever they could. Tools Homo heidelbergensis's tools were mostly employed for butchering and hunting. Most of their tools were ones that Homo ergusta had already used. The bifacial stone hand axes, cleavers, and carvers produced by these big stone tools, which are categorized as Mode 2 technology, were made by remobbing flakes from two sides. Later, some populations created sophisticated wooden throwing spears, scrapers, and hammers from deer antler, bone, and wood. Culture as a severe cold, dry period began 300,000 years ago and the Sahara cut off contact between African and Eurasian populations, regional variations in the Homo heidelbergensis species emerged. The proficient hunting and butchering of huge wildlife demonstrates the group members' capacity for cooperation, coordination, and communication. 
Homo heidelbergensis may have participated in rituals and held beliefs in the afterlife, like many other hominins. Around 400,000 years ago, 30 Homo heidelbergensis were willfully thrown into a hole at a location in Atapuerca, northern Spain. The numerous bones discovered there have earned the pit the name Sima de los Huesos, literally, pit of bones. Place in evolution Although certain fossils identified as belonging to Homo heidelbergensis include transitional traits, many scientists today recognize Homo heidelbergensis as a separate species. It is believed that Homo heidelbergensis descended from Homo erectus between 780,000 and 700,000 years ago. Around 350,000 to 400,000 years ago, the species underwent further evolution to give rise to Homo sapiens, the African population, Homo neanderthalensis, the Eurasian population, and potentially the Denisovans. Work cited Homo heidelbergensis, Fran Dory. Australian Museum, www.museum.au. On the 10th of September 2022. Homo Heidelbergensis by Emma Grunveld. www.worldhistory.org, the World History Encyclopedia. On the 10th of September 2022. Humano Heidelbergensis. Human Origins, a website run by the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of Natural History. On the 10th of September 2022. Interactive Mystery Skull. The Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of Natural History, located at humanorigins.si.edu. On the 10th of September 2022.